A bunch of you asked me to check out this weird gaming browser that Opera had developed called the Opera GX. Uh, so I thought, yeah, let's let's check it out. Maybe it'll be a cool experience or a funny experience. So I went over all the claims that they're doing on their website. So they are basically promising a better performance and how it's tailored for gaming, whatever that means. So I decided to download and try it out. And uh, these are my thoughts. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's just a browser. Run. Okay, let's check out this gaming browser from Opera. What's the difference between a gaming browser and a normal browser? That's what we'll be focusing on today. And uh, some of you kind of asked me about the extensions as well. Like I did make a video about uh, how useful uh, Firefox extensions are. So we'll see if we can import um, any other browser extensions here and will they work properly because every browser has its own extension store. So Opera will have its own store just like Chrome store and uh, uh, Firefox's add-ons. They call the extensions as add-ons. So this is my daily browser, the Firefox browser. We'll see if we can import all these extensions directly to uh, Opera GX and uh, see if that works. Okay, didn't ask for the shortcut but okay. <laughs> time I saw any any browser have such a fancy boot animation oh right off the bat we are taken to their game corner this is the GX corner as they're calling it so every uh, every day of the month they offer you some kind of deals or discounts from uh, the, the games that you can download from different places so as you can see stalker why did I click on stalker I, I'm not a stalker but yeah you can get some deals and some free games that you can download um, I mean assuming that you're a gamer who's using this I'm not a gamer but you know so if you take a look at the left hand side tab here you get a bunch of tabs like GX control and uh, cleaners and stuff like that this GX control tab is pretty comprehensive it's relevant only to this browser it doesn't do anything else outside uh, but yeah it, it tells you all, all the information about how much memory each tab is consuming so if I open YouTube for example it kind of tells me that how much memory is uh, this thing consuming CPU and RAM wise so I can quickly go and kill uh, some tab which is not really doing much in the background which I have accidentally left open but you know if it's consuming a lot of um, um, a lot of my resources that's slowing down my other applications so you can also limit your network to this uh, if you if you're downloading something additional to this and uh, you don't want your YouTube videos to take too much of your bandwidth so you can do that so quite a lot of control here I like that uh, there is RAM and CPU limiters as well so out of your total RAM you can only assign a certain amount of RAM uh, after which it will not consume any more than that so you know that there are certain websites like for example Google Earth uh, if I quickly launch Google Earth you will see how much RAM it actually consumes and on any tab you can kind of bring this thing up and uh, yeah there it is right, right now I, have, I haven't set any limits so RAM is under control but look at the CPU it's going up to 73% so if I want I can limit this down to say 50% uh, or 75% which um, you know kind of saves my battery and saves my resources as well so it, this browser will not slow down my other applications because it's only taking a maximum of 50% really nice controls I didn't think any browser would need this but now that I'm using it I totally see the point so that's pretty cool you can, you can take advantage of this uh, additionally there is a cleaner as well so that's basically your cache cleaner with three levels of uh, cleaning I guess cleaning depth I mean minimum would be basically just clearing cache medium would be your cookies tabs and stuff like that maximum would be everything and you can kind of uh, toggle them on and off based on what you need and it will give you a tiny edit symbol meaning that you have customized something but I guess this window is kind of helpful to clean everything in one click there is integration for messaging applications as well like WhatsApp for example or uh, uh, Facebook Instant Messenger. It's basically lo loading up the web, uh, web version of WhatsApp, you know web.whatsapp.com. So it's just loading that in this tiny window here that you can quickly access whenever you like. But you know ha instead of having a separate tab open, having this on the, uh, on the left hand side here, it's, uh, it's really useful especially if you're doing something else. You have a shortcut for your players as well so if you have any spotify or youtube music you can sync those up here i guess it's a nice addition and speaking of music this browser has background music of its own <laughs> yeah it's pretty insane let me show you here so if you click on this uh, settings tab here on the uh, far right side you will get a bunch of options that uh, will first of all let you switch between the themes this is my favorite the ultraviolet theme uh, but you can kind of switch between other things as well this lime one is pretty cool 
um, interesting stuff is down here actually here in the uh, there it is features browser sounds this is a sound that plays each time when you open or close a tab so when every time you close a tab there's a cool little sound effect which is very faint you can only hear it almost when you when you have a headphone on i mean you can't almost hear it with a with a speaker in a room background music is actually really nice uh, if you go into configurations you can kind of pick between a bunch of background music once you enable that so all of these are really nice but again the volume has to be max here and i noticed that my laptop volume also has to be pretty cranked up even to hear it properly in, in the headphones so I, I wish this was a little bit louder like um, if i keep my laptop at 50 percent i can still hear it on my headphones but if any other audio is playing through it will completely overpower that experience I never thought that I would need a background music in my browser but trust me it's really amazing. This is one of those ambient soundtracks you know not too energetic and stuff it's really cool and calm so you can meditate to it almost. There are some cool animations that you can enable for these styles here for example if I enable hovercraft you can see that it uh, interacts with my mouse a tiny little detail but you know kind of nice. Additionally this thing comes with a uh, free VPN of its own so that's kind of nice. I mean in my Firefox browser I was using a uh, free third party VPN. Uh, called setup vpn but uh, here i don't need any third party services at all i can directly enable the vpn service from here and uh, you can directly have it enabled when you're starting the browser itself oh damn i only have 19 minutes left i better finish this quick that's what she said oh there it is extensions You can only synchronize uh, history, your bookmarks and passwords and stuff. I mean, that's great. I have a lot of passwords saved in my uh, Firefox, uh, so I can kind of link it directly uh, with the help of this or a bunch of other browsers that you're using. So that's really nice. You can, you can uh, transfer your passwords and you can have all your logins available, but I guess you can't have your extensions. Oh uh, man, I really wanted this uh, keywords everywhere extension. Like I use this a lot. For my blogging and stuff so i wanted that here i couldn't find that in, in here as well so there are some limitations so opera is getting there but you know this is a great start i never expected this gaming browser to be anything good i thought this is just another marketing gimmick that they are doing because opera isn't as popular as they were back in uh, say 2014 or 2013 when uh, you know internet speeds were pretty slow and people were looking for any browser that loads content in a decent manner uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I really like this Opera GX. Check it out. It's it's really amazing. I think this is going to be a fresh replacement for my Firefox for at least a few days. So there you have it. As we saw for ourselves, this thing actually has some benefits that you can use on your daily life, even if you're not a gamer. I'm not affiliated to Opera or anything like that. I, I just think that this is a cool software that's worth checking out if you have some time. So I'll leave the uh, link to their website in the description. Of course, you can search for it yourself, but you know, it's free to download. So yeah. Let me know if you have any other weird pieces of software that you want me to try and give you my experience whether it's worth it or not and I'll get to it. Stay subscribed if you'd like to see more content like this and I'll see you next time. Cheers.